Hey all, hello, this is Doc Kane from musicbusinesspage.com. Welcome to this little video about Google and its advanced search techniques. We're going to give you a quick tutorial on how to use it, how it works, and essentially how you can utilize it and manipulate it to get better information as you're searching for jobs and information about the music and entertainment industries. Uh, here we are on the musicbusinesspage.com website. Just a quick little view through here uh, for those who are new to the site. Don't forget to put your email address in here to get our RSS feed as well as the free 60 page book on how to get a job in the music industry and all kinds of other good stuff. We've got jobs and internships on here, books that are good to read, music business schools, you can fill out a form, uh, search by zip code and get all kinds of great information if you're uh, not yet in college or done with college and want to learn how to become a recording engineer or something like that. Uh, this is definitely the place to go. We've been around since 1994 helping people for free because we love it. And uh, we is me, I guess. So uh, well, I like to talk in the we. So anyway, Google is where we're going today. If you're searching for information, most people these days are going to Google.com. And um, that's because they return great results, as we know. Now, most people going to Google are going to first throw in a search phrase that they think will return the best results for them. So. A lot of folks visiting my site will type in music business jobs, and this is what they'll see. They'll see uh, us at the top, um, a few other sites, my music job, and uh, my buddy Heather McDonald's page at musicians.about.com. Definitely visit this site if you haven't yet visited it. Click, click, click. It's a great place to be. Lots of information there as well as on my site as, uh, as you've seen. But what I want to pay attention to what I would like you to pay attention to here today is the number of results, the volume that we get when we type in music business jobs. So we're looking for jobs in the music industry and there are 20,300,000 sites that reference music business jobs. But what it's finding though, or what Google is finding, is the separate words music business jobs. So they don't necessarily, are, or rather they're not necessarily together, it's not necessarily looking for music business jobs, but those individual words. However, if you put quotes around this phrase, Google will isolate the phrase and look for those three words smashed together. So music business jobs, again we're at the top. Here's another anomaly, but you can see how it works music comma business jobs not necessarily what you're looking for but it does narrow down the search from 20 million to 6810 not a bad deal here's another little trick that you might not have seen before you can type in a plus sign and isolate to Los Angeles <coughs> the number gets even smaller 472 I've talked about this in a blog post before and laid out kind of step-by-step -step instructions on how to do this with some additional information. But the visual, I think, helps here. It helps to define what it is we're trying to find. And you can put in different cities. You can put in a minus sign, for example, if you don't want to look for internships. It pulls up a different result. And you're not necessarily going to be looking for internships or getting many internship results, but hopefully jobs instead, even though I'm seeing internships pop up all over the place here. <laughs> so sometimes the results aren't perfect, but that's the essential idea. What we want to do is click on this fancy little hyperlink here, advanced search. This takes us to some deeper uh, search options. Now again, we can add a plus in here, which we won't do for time's sake, but you can put company names in here, you know, Warner Brothers, Universal, so forth that will fine-tune your results as well. You can also subtract words as I said here in turn. Right? Uh, what I really want to focus on though in this screen is the date function. So we're looking for in I want to take out internships. We're looking for music business jobs not any time but within the past month and we're gonna look um, in any region. What the heck it's work in the UK or something like that. And that's it. Advanced search. We're looking for recent jobs. Google then reformats this page. You can see here that they have a, a drop down with the different kinds of search functions, time frames rather. And within one month, 175 jobs are posted here. Jobs at MySpace. There's me again, musicbusinesspage.com. Yahoo Jobs. Let's click on Yahoo Jobs and see what pops up. 
Director of Software Engineering, Music Business Analyst, different kinds of things. So that's essentially a look at the search function, uh, the advanced search function from Google.com. I would definitely recommend that you play around with it, utilize it for searching, for doing all sorts of things that might help you in your search for a job in the music industry, the entertainment industry, whatever it is that gets your fancy. And of course, be sure to remember to visit musicbusinesspage.com. We've got all the information that you're looking for and lots of things under our wing coming up. Snag that free 60-page book. This is Doc Kane from musicbusinesspage.com, and I'll see you at the meet and greet.